Hey everybody, Rob Woolman with Northwest Fishing Report. And today we've got a spotlight on Dutch Fork Custom Lures. I'm here with Keith Eschbach. Keith, owner and inventor of quite a few Dutch Fork lures, huh? Yep, yep. the ghost blades and our quick change clevis. How did Dutch Fork come about? Uh, well, I fished the professional walleye circuit for 15 years. And once I got out of that, I have two degrees in diploma in art and fine art, so I put my art degree to use, started custom painting lures, then we came up with the plastic spinner blade idea, and we found out that they're half the weight of a metal blade, and they'll spin it quarter to a half mile an hour. And a lot of guys, that seems to be changing the game for folks around the country on this walleye fishing. Yeah, you can troll them over weeds super slow and not get hung up, you can troll them slow next to the bottom and they won't sink like a metal blade and the real benefit is a lot of our patterns are transparent or semi-transparent you can actually see your bead patterns through the blade so when that blade spins around if you got chartreuse beads and red blade you see an orange effect Keith you paint and assemble all your lures yes we make everything right here in Pennsylvania uh, all our paint is done here uh, we employ some of the Amish folks around to make rigs for us uh, they do a quality job. Everything's tied just perfect, and uh, nothing leaves the shop without being inspected and being sure. top notch. Quality control. But you're going to take us through the process of painting. Yep, we'll show you the uh, how a blade is painted properly, mm -hmm. and we use the same technique as you were painting a sports car. Okay. So the paint will not come off the blades. Okay, great, great. And you also said you might go through the assembly of a walleye rig for folks. Yep, we'll show you how to snail a hook, put the beads and clevis and blade on, and you'll have a comp completed rig in just seconds. Awesome. Everybody keep watching. We're getting into this. <laughs> Keith, I want to ask you something. We're here in your prep booth. You're going to prep some stuff. Can you put together some ghost blades and Northwest Fishman Report colors for us? Yeah, you bet. We can do it right now. We're gonna go through the process. All right, Rob, so the same technique as painting a sports car. We take a ghost blade and we scuff it up. You definitely need a base for the paint to adhere to. We clean them off. We rack them up. And we're ready to paint. All right, so it's racked up, you're gonna paint. We'll paint your colors for you. So of course we got the exhaust fan running, because you don't want to inhale the fumes. Safety first. Safety first, exhaust fans going. So everybody just look close. Yep, so we're gonna take the white paint. So this is the point we can decide if we want to Keith, a customer sent you these. Yeah, we're recreating the color for them on those lures. So here in the uh, paint booth, you've actually got one, two, three, seven, eight of these already painted, waiting to be clear coated, reproduced for a customer. They can't get these colors anymore. Nope, nope, and this is an excellent eerie color. Right on, and you can do that for just about anything. Exactly. All right, Keith, we're gonna assemble a Dutch Fork custom lure. Right, we're gonna take you from the steps from snailing it to the tie in the loop at the top. And this rig we're gonna make is a walleye rig. Yes, exactly, so, two hook walleye rig. All right, let's do it. Folks, watch this. So you take your first hook, you put the line through the eye, pinch it by the bend of the hook. We do six to seven wraps back. 
Take the long tag in and through. First hook is snailed. Second hook, we go from the back of the hook to the front. And a little trick right here. To get your hooks to hang straight, you need to have the front hook a quarter of a turn towards you. Then you do your seven wraps. Take the long tag in, go from the back to the front. You snug it down. And there's your snail walleye hook. From there we're going to add some beads. What we're going to do is we're going to put red beads on. So we're going to use seven six millimeter beads. We'll take our quick change clevis, slide that on, and the trick to run the ghost blades is you want to bead on top of the clevis. And then tie a loop at the top. You make a loop, and just like tying your shoe, you do an overhand knot. The rig is complete. And all you need to do, open the clevis, slide the blade on, and there's your completed walleye rig. So, with the red beads and a chartreuse blade, which you can see the beads through the blade, when this goes around, you'll actually see an orange effect. Keith, that's awesome. This sucker's ready to fish. Yeah, matter of fact, we'll take it with us tomorrow. All right, maybe we'll see it in action tomorrow. Uh, so guys, from here it goes into some packaging. Correct. Orders come in and you ship it out. Yep, we put a barcode on it, uh, put it in the correct packaging, and off it goes to the stores. Everybody, that's Dutch Fork Custom Lures and Keith Eschbach. From here, into the paint booth. We're going to the paint booth. Clear <laughs> <laughs> coated. These lures needed. So after the clear coat. Okay, what's the next step? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> now I say, okay, we walked down aisle 62 to get the paint yeah, booth. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like that. Don't do chicken neck. Don't do <laughs> okay. Well, I guess we're looking at this camera now, huh? I guess so. <laughs>